but Hodgson's is the leader. And Crowther moves into third, trying to land on the podium. One more time around, and one lap standing between Teddy Hodgson and a victory as he is able to whiplash his way into the corner. Brett Grothier does a great job of moving into the third spot. Here comes Teddy Hodgson. Double checkers are out. Mikey Flynn will finish in second. We so started way back in the pack in the beginning of the race, and we got caught up in two incidents. Uh, it totally wasn't my fault. Just got into them in the wall, and then got spun or whatever, but we definitely had a, had a really fast car tonight. Uh, we made our way through the front, we just held off those last 10 laps, and a lot of restarts, a lot of crazy restarts, but we did it. Teddy, on that last restart, you and Mikey lining up next to each other, uh, how, how tough was that? Oh, it's definitely tough. He's a definitely, definitely very tough competitor to race against. Uh, I'm glad to race with him. Uh, it makes the competition so much greater, and it's great, just great to win here with all these uh, great competitors. Nicole Shambrello is able to tear open her lead. Once again, she is one lap away from her first victory. There's no question about it. She has earned this one. She is less than three turns away from the first career victory. She has done a masterful job in 2015, and this would be a great way to close out the season with two races left. Ladies and gentlemen, off turn number four, Nicole Shambrello has secured her first victory ever here at the Stafford Motor Speedway. Well, they don't like being too nice to me. <laughs> Those restarts were scary. <laughs> um, I, I'm just super excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know what to say. What was going on in your mind? You're coming out of turn number three, going into turn four, and the caution comes out on the white flag. I was like, no, no, I'm so close. Oh, it was so close. I was, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, you earned it, though. You got another great restart. You protected the bottom. You got a chance to redeem yourself there. In his quest to finish on the podium in second, and David Arute continues to work over Hayes in the final circuit down to turn three. And Albert Hayes, two turns away from win number five. Here he comes. He blockbusters his way off the corner, and... Uh, Albert Saunders has chalked up another victory. The car was perfect. Uh, Barry made a bunch of changes and the car was flying tonight. Uh, I don't think anybody could have touched it. Uh, glad to see that the race went mostly under green. Uh, car was really good. Eighth to first, great night. Heading into the final lap. Down into turn number one, final time. Tom Fern looks for his 10th victory. Down the back straightaway, Michael Bennett, the magnum, has been close, but close isn't good enough. He reels him in for one more time. They come off turn number four, win number 10. Tommy Fern has done it again. Michael Bennett will finish in second. Yeah, I don't know there, I, I, I got to Josh there, and then on the restart, I got back underneath him and uh, cleared him, and then Michael's right there with me the whole time. And man, oh man, they don't give me any room here. These are, these are, they may look easy, but they're not easy at all. But uh, you know, with a team like uh, King Ward and uh, Safeco Foam, yes. <laughs> Whip Sporting Goods, uh, Guns and Gear, uh, JR Sweeping, gotta thank them. <laughs> a water bottle to the face from Michael Bennett in celebration, Tom. You were thanking your sponsors for getting you the victory lane. Yeah, that's all right, Michael. I'll get you back sometime. <laughs> One more time around, and Brino has the lead. The best battle is between Salva and Jetty for third. No question about it. Salva continues to hold on in his quest for the third spot. Meanwhile, Kopsik has got less than two turns if he's going to pick up another position. Jetty fights back underneath Nick Salva. They touch. Salva goes around. Kopsik squeaks on by. Checkered flag is out, and it is another. Exciting finish. Whew, I am out of breath. Thank you. It's, we are long overdue to be here. We had a lot of them that slipped away from us, were taken from us, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Nikki Shambrella set the tone for tonight, putting a race works car in victory lane. I had to I had to double it up. I didn't have a choice. And Ed Flunky said, you're being too nice lately for someone named Mimbrino. So I had to uh, flex the muscle a little bit. But, uh, you know, all good, hard fun. and. Uh, Wow. And this could be coronation time for Priest Lightning. 
There is fog, but there is also lightning in the backstretch area. Here comes Ryan Priest, ready to put the padlock on a big win. Off the turn. Back to the strike they come. Double checkers are in the air. Priest will take down the impressive victory. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's a lot of hard work and dedication. I got a great team behind me, and obviously a great crew chief, Mike Paquette, with this chassis and dynamics race car. Finally got it running like it was two years ago, and this Pettit Power, it's not a TA, it's a Pettit motor. Just, you know, we have a lot of people that, uh, that are starting to try to cause things, but 